Kia ora, I'm Andrew Lees, the Technical Director for the Royal New Zealand Ballet. Um, and I'm going to show you through some of the uh, 3D printed props that we're making for Firebird at the moment. These weapons are post-apocalyptic and the reason why I went down the 3D printing line uh, is predominantly because of weight and safety. So uh, these are all plastic, very lightweight, but also means we can sort of have very dull blades. With anything, you can hurt someone with a plastic knife and fork, but you know, this, uh, as far as safety goes, is a, is a lot better method. Um, also time, um, scale, um, so, and we can make things up. So, you know, some things are just completely you know, out of your head, um, like this one. Tracy wanted some pipe weapons that looked menacing, so, um, you know, we came up with this. Um, so, to make some of this out of hand and timber, you know, there's days in, in, in actually constructing it where, you know, if you print all the components and you can put it together, uh, you can do it relatively fast. So all of this on the table took um, a little bit over a week and a half uh, to get it to paint finish. When you start, you know, you've got nothing, uh, but the next morning you come in and you've got your first bit that you can work with. And then while you're working with that, you've got another thing on the printer. And so you can actually roll it over quite efficiently and come up with quite detailed things that you can't often buy. <laughs> to come up with all of these items, it's a combination of taking Tracy's references here and she's given a whole lot of things that she'd like and either going verbatim with them or, you know, sort of making them up. Um, some files, um, you know, you can do a blend where you go online and find objects like blades and then you get that blade file you put it into a 3d drawing program and you can break it apart so you can make something out of things that have already been drawn online by pulling them apart and putting them back together or you know you can start from scratch this might have just been um, in a video that I bought the file so some things are developed for games like Fortnite that kind of stuff there is 3D objects out there with those things and you can scale them up and actually print them. So while they're digital, they become reality. So yeah, quite a fun project. It's sort of like Mad Max meets ballet, um, which you know, I'm loving.